say you want to get into flow arts, but there's so many different props and you don't know where to go. This video is for you. Welcome to flow arts 101. Hello and welcome. I decided since I have so many of you on TikTok asking me tons of questions about flow arts, uh, my flow arts journey in particular, that I try to take the time and actually make some YouTube content in hopes to help others in a different space, maybe who aren't able to access flow art. Now to start off first, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've been doing flow arts for almost two years now, so I'm relatively new. So a lot of my flow arts content and tutorials for that will be definitely from a beginner's perspective and on. I have a ton of friends who've been in the field of flow arts for decades and so on and so forth but i really do think that i'll be able to provide a different perspective coming from a beginner let's start off first with explaining what flow arts is and the definition i got from flow toys as you can see the term flow arts encompasses the emerging movement based art form that integrates dance creative exploration and movement of skills based prop manipulation now a way to simplify this would be say dancing with an object for some people who have no idea what flow arts is in particular I like to give the simplest explanation in order for them to retain what I'm trying to tell them now I know this may not be an explanation that some poi experts or some staffers or hula hoopers have been doing for decades they want to be explained more but I try to simplify things just for people who are brand new to the field now I think the biggest thing and my personal journey was what flow prop should you get into to start exploring flow arts? I'm going to first preface this with this is my opinion and every flow artist is going to tell you something different. For me in particular, I always tell people great beginner props are levy wands and silk fans. Now, why do I suggest levy wands and silk fans over all the props you're able to flow with? The simple question is affordability and the learning curve is not steep. You can get basic flow arts fans on Amazon for about $20 and levy wands can be rather cheap. Uh, even your first LED wand is going to be under $100. Now, I would also like to preface this with my first flow arts prop was a flow whip. Now, when I started with a flow whip, I took it on rather easily. But as I was learning it, there were some things in which I wish I knew ahead of time, which would be, uh, say, for instance, the whip handle. And this isn't something to discourage you from getting a flow whip and to start learning with flow whip. But it is something I like to tell people, especially with my journey, is that I didn't realize how easily I was going to get bruised and or injured from my flow whip. Now, would I ever take it back? No, I love my flow whip. I love flowing with flow whip. I love telling people about Flow Whip, everything. But when someone comes to me in particular and asks me, Snuggy, what flow prop should I start with? My answer is always and always will be Silk Fans and Levy Wand. When you first start your flow journey, I want you to kind of visualize where you want to see yourself. So for example, with myself, I always knew I wanted to do Fire Flow. And I really, really wanted to do Fire Staff, Dragon Staff and fire rope dart. I really looked up to Grace Good Cirque and Flo Mayhem as inspirations and I said, man, I wanna do that. I want to build my skill level up enough to do what these amazing people are doing in the field that I want to enter in. So with that being said, I would say if you are completely new to flow arts, start with silk fans and live you want, but also remember what your end goal is. And if your end goal is to light a dragon staff on fire and flow with it like crazy, then do that. It's just so you understand that the dedication, time, and training is going to be a little bit more difficult with certain props than it would be for entry-level props like I suggest, Levy Wand and Silk Vamp. I know that Flow Arts is very overwhelming. There's so many props and there's so many brands and there's so many types and then the shopping for flow arts is very overwhelming. So my hope is to take this first video, expand upon it and go from there and to be able to help people not feel as overwhelmed and give you guys the research that I have already done 
in a way to help you in your flow arts journey. If you're looking for more information or like where I get my flow props, where I found the tutorials and training that I used in particular for my flow arts journey, I list it all for free in my flow arts guide, which I'll be putting these videos in as we go along. But if there is something in particular you want me to touch on first as I go through and you want to leave me a comment and a suggestion, you are more than welcome to do so. Maybe you want to know um, more about silk fans. How do I shop for silk fans? What are the different handles? What are the different lengths? What are the, the poise on mine? Or maybe you want to know about levy wands, different levy wands, different length string levy wands, or different flow whips, et cetera, et cetera. Please, uh, I am open to any and all suggestions. I will plan on going a certain course uh, of my own understanding and kind of my chaotic brain. So we will see how that goes. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did find this video useful, let me know. If you didn't find it useful at all, you can let me know that as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day.